is bulletproof warm up session number nine. The first thing we're doing is a hanging leg circle progression. So the first round of this will be a tuck around the world. So I start from a dead hang position on the bar and then I bring my knees up and around in a circular motion, getting them as high as I can, just alternating directions and going for eight reps each direction. Then I'm gonna take a light dumbbell and we're going to do some half kneeling shoulder variations. So this one is in a half kneeling position, as you can see I'm kneeling down. I'm going to do an upright row into an external rotation. So I'm keeping my abs on tight and my shoulders back and down. That's the most important part. Keep your shoulders back and down. Don't let them shrug or roll forward. I row the dumbbell up as high as I can and then rotate to the sky. So I'm trying to get my elbow to point to the sky and then rotate like that. So it's gonna go 12 reps each arm. Keep that weight fairly light. Okay, then you're going to take two uh, fairly heavy kettlebells. So take, uh, you wanna pick a kettlebell weight that is quite heavy and you're going to go uh, down on the ground into a glute bridge position. Then you're going to do a floor press up. Right? So you come down until your elbows touch the ground and press up, keeping the, bri the glute bridge position the whole time. We're gonna do 15 reps of this. Right, next up, for the animal movement today, it's gonna to be a stationary one. You're going to go down to uh, all fours, so you're gonna be on your hands and on the balls of your feet. And you're going to alternate hands and legs by rotating round. So you can see I I'm, using, I'm moving my opposite hand to leg and I twist myself around. And I can go backwards and forwards in different directions. Might take a bit of practice, but uh, give it a go. Trying to go for about 10 rotations each direction. Okay, round two. We're progressing to a leg circle around the world. So this is similar to the tuck around the world we did, except this time I'm trying to keep my leg as straight as possible. I'm not doing an awesome job at it in the video, but trying to keep my legs as straight as possible, going around the world, getting my legs as high as I possibly can. All right, eight reps each direction. Before. Now you want to take a dumbbell that's heavier. So the key here is it has to be heavier than what you did before. And you're going to do, that's right, a curl and press. You might be thinking, why are we doing a curl? Well, chances are if you can't do a pull up yet, it's because your bicep strength isn't uh, strong enough. Uh, bicep strength is very good for shoulder health, right? So you're going to curl up and then press. So trying to keep the same thing, shoulders back and down, curl up and press. Use a weight that is challenging for the curl. So 12 reps, if it's too easy for the curl, you won't get the effect. So then you'll take the same kettlebells, 15 reps again here. So I started that sort of front rack position, go up into the, blue, uh, the glute bridge, and then 15 reps as I press up. All right, then I'll come back to my switch back. Now the key here, as you start to practice this, is to spin as fast as you can. So when you start to get the hang of it, you go around, and then you can see, you just try to spin through as fast as you can. 10 rotations each direction. All right, for the last round, uh, the last progression, now, I have to apologize for this. I did an atrocious attempt at trying to demo this. This is called a windscreen wiper. You're going to bring your, <laughs> you're gonna bring your legs up to the bar, bring your toes to the bar, and you're bringing them down side to side whilst keeping your knees locked out, unlike what I did there, right? So that's going for eight reps uh, each direction there, okay? Now, the last, one of these half kneeling variations is a row. Now, same as before, you need to choose a heavier weight for this dumbbell, otherwise it won't be effective, okay? So, for girls, anywhere from 15 to 20 kilos, and guys can use you know, 20 and above, okay? So you're just trying to row all the way to your chest, 12 reps each arm. Then you'll go back to the kettlebells, and do 15 more reps of a floor press in the glute bridge. Okay, and then you'll finish with the switch back. This is a great one for shoulder health as it gets uh, your shoulders moving in a really good range of motion. All right, that's it.